Welcome to DDL Academy. This video is again the continuation of the discussion of the previous year question paper that is the JPHN question paper conducted by Kerala PSC Junior Public Health Nurse Grade 2 Health Municipal Common Service. This is the part 5. Link for the rest of the videos of JPHN question paper discussion is given in description. You can watch it. So let me start question number 66 the causative organism of whooping cough options are mycobacterium clostridium tetany cornibacterium diphtheria bordetella pertosis the causative organism of whooping cough correct answer is bordetella pertosis whooping cough or pertosis is caused by bordetella pertosis Whooping cuff is also known as 100 day cuff. Whooping cuff is also known as 100 day cuff. Then diphtheria is caused by cornibacterium diphtheria and tetanus is caused by clostridium tetany. Next question. Question number 67. The confirmatory test for AIDS. The confirmatory test for AIDS options. ELISA test, Western blot test, VDRL test, Schick test. Correct answer is Western blot test. ELISA test is the screening test for AIDS. ELISA test is the screening test for AIDS and Western blot test is the confirmatory test for AIDS. So please don't confuse it. ELISA test is the screening test for AIDS and Western blot is the confirmatory test for AIDS. Then Schick test is related to diphtheria. Schick test is related to diphtheria that is to check the susceptibility to diphtheria. And VDRL test is the screening test for syphilis. VDRL test is the screening test for syphilis. The next question, question number 68. Next question, question number 68. The pulse polio immunization program was started on. The pulse polio immunization program was started on. Options 9th December 1994, 9th December 1995, 9th December 1996, 9th December 1997. Correct answer is. 9th December 1995 the pulse polio immunization program was started on 9th December 1995 and it is conducted twice in early part of each year. Question number 69 the mode of transmission of hepatitis B the mode of transmission of hepatitis B Options are parenteral route, direct route, fecal oral route, droplet infection. Correct answer is parenteral route. Hepatitis B is transmitted both parenterally and sexually. Parenterally is through blood, then sharing needles and syringes, accidental needle stick injuries and all. So hepatitis B is transmitted through parenteral route among these options. Question number 70. The parasite responsible for cerebral malaria. The parasite responsible for cerebral malaria. Options. Plasmodium vivax, plasmodium ovale, plasmodium quartan, plasmodium falciparum. Correct answer is plasmodium falciparum. Cerebral malaria is the most severe neurological complication of infection with plasmodium falciparum plasmodium falciparum and plasmodium vivax account for majority of cases of malaria then plasmodium vivax is the most widespread and plasmodium falciparum causes more death here the question is the parasite responsible for cerebral malaria the correct answer is plasmodium falciparum Question number 71. The first case of AIDS was reported in India in the year. Options 1981, 1984, 1986, 1989. 
correct answer is 1986 the first case of aids was reported in india in the year 1986 question number 72 the multi purpose workers scheme was launched in options 1974 1975 1976 1978 1974 the concept of multi purpose health workers male and female it was introduced in the year 1974 for the delivery of preventive and promotive health care services to the community question number 73 Diethyl carbamazine is used in the treatment of options dengue fever chikungunya malaria filariasis correct answer is filariasis diethyl carbamazine which dec it is a medication used in the treatment of filariasis including lymphatic filariasis filariasis is also known as selfentiasis and the drug used is dec diethyl carbamazine it is an anti helminthic drug question number 74 the world aids day is celebrated on options december 1st december 10th december 14th december 31st the world aids day is celebrated on correct answer is december 1st and the theme for 2020 is Ending the AIDS HIV epidemic resilience and impact the theme for 2020 is ending the HIV AIDS epidemic resilience and impact question number 75 insulin is produced from options thyroid liver pancreas spleen correct answer is pancreas insulin is produced from beta beta cells of islets of langerhans of the pancreas question number 76 the denominator in a vertex presentation is options sacrum occiput mentum acromion process the denominator in a vertex presentation is correct answer is occiput Denominator is the bony landmark on the presenting part used to denote the position and in vertex presentation denominator is occiput in face presentation denominator is mentum or chin in face presentation denominator is mentum or chin in breech presentation denominator is sacrum in breech presentation denominator is sacrum in shoulder presentation denominator is acromion in shoulder presentation denominator is acromion process so question here is the denominator in a vertex presentation and the answer is occiput question number 77 the first fetal movements felt by the mother during pregnancy is termed as options lightening quickening braxton hicks contraction funix shuffle the first fetal movement felt by mother during pregnancy right answer is quickening quickening is the first fetal movement felt by mother during pregnancy lightening means it occurs when fetal presenting part begins to descend into the maternal pelvis lightening occurs when the fetal presenting part begins to descend into maternal pelvis Braxton Hicks contraction are mild contractions of the uterus that occurs throughout pregnancy. Braxton Hicks contractions are mild contractions of the uterus that occurs throughout pregnancy. Funix shuffle means a soft blowing murmur synchronous with the fetal heart sound. A soft blowing murmur synchronous with fetal heart sound is known as Funix shuffle. The next question question number 78 full dilatation of cervix at term equates to about options 4 cm 6 cm 8 cm 10 cm correct answer is 10 cm full dilatation of cervix means 10 cm 
then question number 79 the drug used to induce labor options oxytocin ergometrin terbutalin duvadilan the drug used to induce labor is oxytocin then ergometrin is used to cause contractions of uterus to treat heavy vaginal bleeding after childbirth it is used to treat heavy vaginal bleeding after childbirth terbutalin is a medication used to delay the preterm labor it is a class of beta mimetics terbutalin is a class of beta mimetics used to delay preterm labor and duvadilan or also known as isoprene these are tocolytic agents used to inhibit uterine contractions and used to prolong the pregnancy duvadilan is used to inhibit uterine contractions and used to prolong the pregnancy then question number 80 neural tube defects can be prevented periconceptional options vitamin d vitamin k calcium folic acid neural tube defects can be prevented periconceptional by administering the correct answer folic acid the incidence of neural tube defects is 1 to 2 per 1000 live birth and folic acid required in first trimester of normal pregnancy is 400 microgram folic acid required in first trimester of normal pregnancy is 400 microgram so by administering folic acid neural tube defects can be prevented so these are the previous year questions so thank you thank you for watching the video hope you like this video also share to your friends